man who has his own fair share of telts, titles and belts. It's Howard Eastman, known as the Battersea Bomber. Eastman is the current British and Commonwealth champion, but he's been completely off the scene since he lost out in a bid to win a world title last November. For his first fight back, he's up against rugged Congolese boxer Chardon Ansula, who's won all eight of his fights since he moved to London last year. So all in all, a fresh but potentially dangerous restart to Eastman's career. Seconds out. What a great pleasure it is to see Howard Eastman back in a British ring, or indeed back in any ring at all. And it's the best part of a year since he was in action in Las Vegas in well, November of last year. What a start he's making. No time for introduction. He's in against uh, a man born in the Congo, resident now in St. Pancras in London, Chardon and Sula. But in the mostly green trunks, it's Howard Eastman, the former undefeated British Commonwealth and European middleweight champion and a man who lost what people consider was a pretty controversial decision in Las Vegas in November of last year to uh, Willie Joppy for the then vacant WBA middleweight title. So Eastman has had plenty of time to uh, consider his future. He's taken a year out and he's got his man cut. There's a nasty cut on the right eye. Oh, what a shot! What a shot! This is Eastman and his destructive vest. Well, we wondered, Richie, what sort of hard issue did we see? Did he ease himself back into it? And the answer is, not a chance. And it's all stopped. The referee stopped it after just over a minute. Not so much because of the knockdown, which was pretty impressive, but because of the cut, which is pretty nasty. Chardon Ansula, the man who uh, outbrews a tough man called Valeria Odin just a few weeks ago in this very ring, has got himself stopped for only the second time in his pretty useful career and Howard Eastman has returned to the ring with a vengeance he has hardly broken sweat and a good decision that that is a very very nasty cut indeed but it was always Richie going to go one way wasn't it oh unbelievable I mean they both come out blasting in the toe to toe stuff but uh, Eastman the sharper punch and look at that for the right hand that was right on the button that was a cracking punch and I think it was the right decision because that cut was very very bad above the eye and there it is a slashing right hand Excellent shot from Howard Eastman. Howard Eastman is back. Well, is he ever back? He would have liked perhaps a little bit more under his belt, but he's in great condition. He's only five pounds above the uh, normal middleweight limit. And this was made at uh, Super Middle. And there's new trainer Rob McCracken and uh, Mick Hennessy, who he signed. And uh, what a good signing Howard Eastman it is, because we worried about Chardon and Shula having watched him against um, his last opponent, Valeri Odin and gave him plenty of it, but what a very, very good finish that was. Howard, many congratulations, nearly a year out of the ring, but you haven't forgot how to box, had you? Oh, thank you very much, nearly a year out of the ring. I'm just worried about the head that clashed, you know what I mean? And then afterward, he got caught with a solid right hand, sort of like a right hook sort of thing. But no, I haven't forgot how to box. It's like you, you, you know how to ride as a, as a child and you stop riding for a while, you jump on a bicycle, again, you'll you ride just like, you know what I mean, you was riding yesterday. Let's show you how it um, finished. And it was, a, it was a sweet punch. You must have known as soon as you whacked him, that was good night, did you? I knew it was a hard punch, it was a solid punch. And, you know what I mean, I was surprised that, you know... There we are, crack. Wow. Boom. Bingo. Bingo. Now, the last time I saw you, it was uh, in Las Vegas. You were fighting for the world title. Um, what aspirations do you have for another world title challenge, or do you see more immediately a European title, perhaps? Um, my goal, obviously, is world titles. And obviously, I have to discuss it with my promoter, McKennessy, and Robert, the trainer, you know what I mean? And then we will just plan it step by step. It's a step by step progression. You know what I mean? I just. I so I feel so great fighting on BBC. I also want to fight on the BBC. And, you know, 